Hi friends, today I will demonstrate Amakake Ryu no Hirameki from Rurori Kenshin Anime. When I looked up this move, I discovered deep meaning in it that I can be applied to real life and also a part of my cousin method. While I break down the movement, I will try to explain the meaning as well. I will do the move from the fight with Aoshi and from fight with Shishiro. Okay, let's go! I'm Kazu, an actor, Japanese sword fighter choreographer and trainer from Japan. I teach Japanese sword fighting as a way to improve your body and mind harmony. Everyone is welcome. Normally, when doing bato, you step forward with your right foot and draw the sword. However, in this move, you step forward with the left foot even though it may feel strange. If you move from tandem and are one with your sword, you will be able to move freely. You let your opponent move first, but then you strike them before they can hit you. In Japanese we say, Konosen, later, but first. You invite an attack on your right shoulder, then while stepping forward with your left foot, you parry his attack and strike swiftly. In order to do this, you must read your opponent completely, so the state of your heart and mind is critical. I will explain in more detail later in the video. The real life movement does not go like in the anime. If you maintain your posture and chushin and can take your opponent chushin, then with this movement you can parry and attack. Again, your mind and heart must be ahead of your opponents. In this way, you can see ahead and move accordingly. The premise of this move is to let your opponent strike first, then strike when they attack or after they attack. In order to do this, you cannot fear their attack. This does not mean that you do not fear death. Your life should feel precious to you, but you achieve a new frontier in which death is no longer something scary. This is what it means to truly live in the moment. By clearing your mind of noise, you can truly see and feel your opponent. Of course, this is not easy. In my own life, I have experienced this only a few times during Zen meditation and sword martial arts. In the real sword fight, this was a truly test of samurai and what they trained their whole lives for. This is useful for your own life as well, because each of us must die someday. We can live purpose-free every day. Let go of your indecision and your fear. Face this moment and do the important things that you must do now. This is also the purpose of Kazmasot, to live in the moment and realize your true self. It is the theme of my life as a human being and as a performer. Today's breakdown and the philosophy behind it is the essence of samurai and my cousin method.
How was today's video? I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And、uh, if you have a request, please comment below. Okay, see you next time. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye bye.